Welcome, welcome to another experience brought to you by yours truly. You know, actions really determine a lot of things as well as it uh, reveals things, you know, the purpose behind it, the plan behind it, the thought behind it, the sentiment behind it, so forth. So your purpose always indicates what you are doing or not doing with yourself in its exact form, as well as um, your vision explains how you are living your purpose, just like your goals. They enable you to uh, realize what your uh, vision truly is. So in a nutshell, your innermost dominant thoughts as well as needs become uh, your outermost uh, tangible reality. See, it's your state of mind, which is the uh, sum total of what you believe, you know, what you value, how you conceptualize your uh, identity, you know, how you conceptualize your expectations, and how you um, distribute aspects of your attitude and uh, what type of habits do you form and uh, break away from? You know, what type of decisions do you make? And more importantly, how you formulate your uh, opinions and uh, how you uh, develop your patterns of uh, thinking about yourself others and the life that you live and how it works around you see it's uh what you use to filter through which uh you interpret which you uh decide to utilize which you decide to see and uh which you decide to experience so your state of mind shapes and molds your life and draws to you the uh the exact results that you <laughs> are uh, in the sum total of your belief with, you know. So it's either you are, um, you know, ushering what you want or ushering what you're trying to avoid, you know. You know, and it's that, you know, exact reflection of that, right? That brings into uh, fruition. So what you believe will happen. Not only it will happen, it has happened, and it is happening now. Because you'll always live in the right now. Yeah, so the uh, range of what you observe and do is uh, limited by uh, what you uh, didn't notice or failed to notice or, you know, come to the realization of. So, uh, ingenuity in your perception is the uh, search of options. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Have that mind in you. Just like the uh, aspect of focus or uh, concentration is the uh, elimination of uh, the ingenuity. Because it creates, you know, blindness, you know. And, um, you know, most people make the grave mistake that, you know, Due to certain things, you know, often their uh, foolishness, their um, arrogance, youthful arrogance, or their pride. Now, pride is just arrogance expressed, you know? And youthful arrogance is something that is uh, not measured, you know, in its proper uh, weight and balance. And uh, <laughs> it's seen to be uh, manufactured or manifested uh, in the uh, production of assuming that you know the thought patterns of how, you know, your um, possible opponent might think, you know. But again, you know, I can't stress this enough. You can't fit, you know, 16 years of added experience into the mindset of an impressionable 24-year-old brain, you know. What uh, my mentor used to tell me, you can't really fit, you know, my years of experiences into your mind, 
you know? They're not able to uh, decode everything that takes place, the, the, the exact ingredients, what it takes to basically build upon that. Why stress, you know, you have to think about your thoughts because uh, thinking derives from not knowing. And, uh, you know, knowing something and uh, observing something is entirely different, you know, especially when uh, you fail to realize uh, someone is actually uh, much wiser with more life experiences and has lived it uh, before you were even thought of. <laughs> See, what holds you together is your uh, lies, and they only become uh, truth to you when you uh, strive hard enough to uh, believe it. But uh, those beliefs are errant, and um, and don't register without consequence. You often uh, think that it's the uh, quantity of what you uh, observe over the uh, quality of what you observe. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> See, you don't become something just because you read an article or a book, you know. It's beyond the level of uh, information that you might have received on Google about uh, nuance to enhance what kind of uh, perspective that you have, right? This is a perspective you're trying to create, not something that's innate, and knowing this truth, you will only know how to uh, affect a cause. Because everything is uh, according to the lens of your perception. Now, if I can give you an example, a mind that's uh, you know, frail and uh, limited by their own uh, youthful error can't uh, foresee or perceive the mind that operates in a uh, 13 dimensional level but uh frames everything from a standpoint of a more uh myoptic uh lens to uh confuse the uh self-proclaimed wise you know remember how what god said he would use the shameful things of the world to confound the wise you know see what makes you uh no different from others is that you overestimate yourself and uh underestimate you know others based on what is uh actually shown or being used to be shown <laughs> now are you familiar with the game of uh frisbee or yo-yo <laughs> more importantly can you observe uh things in a space of knowing now in the space of thinking right now you can observe a, a player in the space of thinking right you can see his moves and still not uh, know how to stop it you know everyone observed kareem abdul jabbar's uh sky hook but um no one could stop it because he knew the quality and the velocity of why nobody could fuck with it now welcome to the ice turner experience something that you uh, can't define, but you can only experience this through me. <laughs> so uh, putting yourself or attempting to fit yourself in my shoes, you'll uh, not only uh, trip and fall over yourself, <laughs> but you will, uh, you know, create uh, new traumas and new wounds because you don't know the exact steps that it took to become you know who I am young grasshopper you know because all of my methods you know uh, involve and evolve around uh, telling the truth and being the truth because I know how effective the cause is once it sets in see the truth uh, you know can be offensive but it can also uh, be the very thing that's uh makes you free through acceptance you know but obviously you you know struggle with that just because you might uh read you know something on google or listen to some videos um doesn't exactly make you that way just because you might have uh, listened to my material before through observation but uh don't have the experience of how to connect what I'm saying. Doesn't make you an expert of knowing me. How you can have the internet raise you, but you still won't understand 
how I was made. You know, I wasn't made from a computer. I was made, you know, in the image and likeness of uh, my knowledge. You know, that will always define me. See, you can learn vocabulary, you can learn concepts from a book, but your heart defines your character and who you truly are. See, the parody is where you uh, went wrong because it, uh, you know, displayed uh, what you uh, fear. Others uh, noticing and uh, taking shape in their minds, you know, later on about you. But um, what you fail to really observe is that, you know, those thoughts were already there. You know, I just put things into uh, notice. But actually, you beat me to the punch. I just pointed that out. <laughs> and uh, also what you uh, fail to observe is that I know that you uh, don't do well with uh, neglect or uh, someone disregarding you. Now, do you remember my uh, first upload? You know, the title and how to uh, bait them into baiting you. See, I've been putting my plan in motion in your mind the whole time. I'm just buying up real estate, you know? Now, you ever play um, yo-yo, frisbee? It's a, it's a great game. <laughs> See, I know how you feel. And it's how you feel of your world, not uh, what you think of your world and how you have a habit of clothing others actions or perceived actions, perceived thoughts, right? With how you feel. Well, uh, riddle me this. When have you ever seen me become unglued? <laughs> when have others seen you become unraveled? You know, right in front of your uh, audience, you know? At the leisure of me just relaxing with my feet up and just uh, sharing my opinion. <laughs> now, how can you think from uh, my lens, right? When your um, mind is too short to box, and the way that we, uh, you know, mentally knuckle up is uh, unorthodox. <laughs> But wait, you know, then again, you know, this all derives from uh, thinking and not from knowing. You know, that's why your uh, counter move was uh, <laughs> impetuously, you know, uh, anticipated. You know, not only was it an epic uh, failure, but it's also a uh, direct indicator of how much control you don't have over yourself and how much I have over you.